Hi guys, I thought I'd do a wee bit of a video on these really nice simplex shifters that I'm rebuilding for Kieran's bike. Um, these are really in demand still, um, and they were really in demand at the time because they don't slip. Apparently, at the time, a lot of racers would have swapped these out for, for swapped out their Campagnolo ones for these because they have a, a retro friction system inside here. There's a little post that's attached to a spring. It's actually the end of the spring. And that spring is applying friction to a cylinder that's inside here. And that spring doesn't want to move because of the friction that it's applying to the cylinder. So it'll move nice and freely here. But when this is actually on a on a, a brace on, when it's attached to a bike frame, like that, goes on there. Um, the tension squeezing this together makes the spring apply friction to the, the cylinder inside and not want to move. I'll, I'll put one together at the end and show you what I mean. So the way this works is you've got your brace on. This is the left hand brace on. So it goes on the frame like this with the little hook at the back. Then you've got a washer. Then this little top hat bushing goes on over the top. Then the lever itself goes on like this. And that has to be in front of that. You can see how they're supposed to marry together. And then in there is where the spring lives. So this they're, they're directional, you can't swap them from left to right. They have to go back into the shifter they came out of. So this one has to, is the left hand one. And you can tell it's the left hand spring because the end, the cut end of the spring here, it's in line with the rest of the spring, it should face towards you when it's installed. Like that. Now they're a bit tricky to push in because obviously it being a friction fit, this spring is so close in size to the to the cylinder that it, it squeezes against. The cylinder it squeezes against is actually this this one here. So the way to get them together is to squeeze them together in a vise. Or you can do it by hand, but I'm not going to do it by hand because I've been working with small parts all day and my hands are pretty tired. So um, this and this go together and you put the spring in like that. And you can see without the cylinder in the middle, the spring just sits in there quite happily. So this is what it's going to look like in the vise. You've got a 10mm socket, you've got your shift lever and you've got the little plate and all the internal workings are already in it. And as you tighten the vise, you'll see this gap will close up. There we go. So I can pop that out. And now if we look at the end of the spring, the spring is in flush with the thriller. I have to tighten the vice up to hold the phone now, put the rest together. <clears throat> so so that's pretty much that done. Uh, all you have to do then is put this little keyed washer on. It goes on like that see and then there's just these washers that go on oh sorry i forgot a washer there's a washer goes on before that case washer there. that goes on there that goes on there like that and then finally this little thimble and then the screw goes through and then these are kind of um unlike shimano um shifters and stuff like that these actually have this little retaining washer which is nylon and it goes on over the screw. A lot of installed is you have uh, the the brace on, the plate, the and then it's all held together by tension. And as you um, move this with the lever, I don't know if you can really. It's really such. It's really hard to see it, but you can see that the lever moves independently of that spring, and that's because the spring is applying friction to the cylinder that's in the center of this, the little top hat part. So as I move that, it's nice and smooth and easy it's not difficult to do but once i stop it doesn't want to move anymore and, and that's what stops it from slipping it's actually genius design it's really really clever and it's really simple 